I am so excited to be teaching a course on the great choral music of the Mass at the Chang School for Continuing Education at Toronto Metropolitan University in their programs for people 50 years of age and older. I think this will be a great class for anybody who loves choral music and wants to dive into some of the most beautiful music ever written. But since it's a course about the music of the Mass, I've had people tell me they don't want to take a religion class. So this little video, I am hoping, will help you to get to know what is on offer, and I'm also hoping that it will convince a few of you to join. What is this course? It is a music appreciation style course for people 50 years and older about some of the most beautiful choral music ever written. We will listen to selections from the masses and requiems that form the lion's share of the great choral music that is performed in concert halls as well as churches today. So, what will you learn? First of all, we will start with the five movements of the mass, which almost always have the same text, and yet can be set in so many interesting musical ways. For example, how many ways can a composer set the words, Lord, have mercy? Hauntingly? Excitedly? Sublimely? Dramatically. We will explore music from all time periods in each class. Everything from Gregorian chant to 21st century settings as we listen our way through each of these five movements. We will learn the historical backgrounds of the various composers we study and of the works they composed. For example, how the Napoleonic Wars influenced Haydn to add a military feel to his Lord Nelson Mass and his Mass in the Time of War. Or how the modern crisis of faith and even loss of faith was central to Leonard Bernstein's Mass a music theater style work that was created for the opening of the Kennedy Center. We will learn how composers have consistently reached into the past for musical ideas that have inspired their masses. How was it that a popular military song from the late Middle Ages, The Armed Man, became the basis for the music of over 40 masses, written from the Renaissance to the 17th century? Whereas in modern times, composers like Maurice Durifle have harmonized Gregorian chants in a 20th century fashion to compose his haunting requiem. And speaking of requiems, we will study this special and dramatic form of the Mass. Its text covers everything from the Day of Wrath to Angels in Paradise, providing a rich tapestry of music from the fearsome to the sublime. Verdi's Requiem was so dramatically intense that some said it was his greatest opera. And 
Benjamin Britten's War Requiem lamented the destruction wrought by the two world wars and was purposely written to feature an English tenor, a German baritone, and a Russian soprano, symbolizing the reconciliation and peace that he hoped for the world to come. The Mass is not just the province of dead white men either. We will listen to significant contributions by female composers who have brought their perspectives to this form. We have already heard a clip from Sarah Kirkland Snyder's Mass for the Endangered. We will look at Libby Larson's Misa Gaia, or Mass for the Earth, which follows the form and the spirit of the traditional Mass, combining it with words that speak of human beings' relationship to the Earth. Instead of Lord have mercy, her Kyrie begins, Mother, Sister, Blessed, Honored, Life of the Water, Life of the Flower, Grant that we do not hurt ourselves with vanity. jazz pianist and composer Mary Lou Williams' gospel-flavored Mary Lou's Mass, which was the inspiration for choreographer Alvin Ailey to create a ballet that the New York Times hailed as a celebration of life, jazz, and gospel, an assertively happy work. In addition to Anglican and Lutheran masses, we will enjoy variations on the standard form by composers like Paul Halley, who interpreted recordings of wolf howls and whale songs in his jazz-inspired Misa Gaia, another Earth Mass. And we will listen to the work of Ariel Ramirez, who used Argentinian and Bolivian dance rhythms and folk instruments for his Misa Criolla, or Creole Mass. So to recap, we are going to travel through time and all over the world and experience some of the most beautiful choral music ever written. Classes are from 3 to 5 p.m. every Tuesday beginning February the 7th. Come and join us in person or over Zoom. Click the link below to register and please contact me in person at the email address below if you have any questions for me and also to give me an email address that you want me to use if you would like me to send you the Zoom link. I hope to see many of you there as we explore this music of mystery, joy, hope and overall expression of the human condition.